paying on my house every month and now I'm getting to the point where I'm, I want to retire and I can't sell my house. Nobody will buy my house because it's in East Cleveland. Now you guys have raised, raised your children in your houses and I know a lot of you say, well I'm, when I die I'll leave my house to my kids. Mm -hmm. That's my wealth, that's their legacy. Right. But this stuff that we got going on here now is blocking that. The people who have worked hard for years and years and years, who have invested in this community, have invested in their children, they're not going to get anything out of it if we continue to go the way we're going. We're not, you're, you're going your, your investment, your equity, the, your legacy, the things that you want to leave your kids is not going to be there. And so that's why I'm here, because I'm saying we've got the whole, you know, this, uh, the American way is through the ballot box. Martin Luther King said that you you express yourself through the ballot box, and what has to happen here in East Cleveland is we can't consider, we can't put up with the foolishness that's going on in City Hall now. We put up with it long enough. Now every chance we get a chance, time to vote on those people who are participating in the foolishness, we've got to say no. We're not having that anymore. And then maybe we'll get some action. Now I had in mind <clears throat> a program that can help us. Why not take some of this money that they're using to clear all this land down in the West End? I don't know why we're clearing all that up. Clearing. Why are we clearing all that land up down there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's why I got a big why on that. Yeah. So why not put some of that money in a program that assists existing homeowners mm -hmm. to preserve their property so that they, they have some wealth that they can cash in on when they die, when their kids want to move back home, that they have a place where they can move back home to. And 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 I think and you know what the, the city's always crying for oh we spoke we can't do this because we're in the money. Recently, the regional sewer district offered the city two hundred sixty one thousand dollars for nineteen parcels of land, but the city could not take advantage of that offer because they've got little small judgment liens that have been placed on those those properties by people who sued the city of East Cleveland. That is and if you don't believe me, there's a case. Just get back. There's a go go on go online. It's it's a matter of public record. This the case's name is the Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District versus the City of East Cleveland. It's right it's a, there. It's a case. It's, huh? it's a case. It's a case. It's right there. And the, and the Regional Sewer District says right within its documents, we have made a written offer to pay for these lots to the City of East Cleveland. You see, that, there's where I have a problem. At least we can agree on what the facts and what the facts in the public record say. This thing about, well, they lying, they're not telling the truth. The truth is right out there if we want to see it. And what we've got to start doing is we've got to start basing our decisions on the truth the and the facts. We, we got enough Donald Trumps out there who lies about everything and say, oh, no, I'm great. This is going to, no, we don't need to make America great again. We may need to make East Cleveland great again. Mm -hmm. Well, I've said enough because I'm not going to try to dominate the conversation because there are a lot of other people that have things that they want to say. Right. Go ahead, sir.